Project of the day. Take this table and make two chairs sit in that corner. So I'm going to probably turn it or split it or whip it around, but it's going to be over that way when it's done. Okay, everybody, what I'm doing here today is I'm going to take this uh, board here and take it out and I'm going to replace it here and then I'm going to cut my table down from here to here. Stay with me. I already prepped it already. Got that out of the way. I'm going to take this one here. Looks like I need a little hammer here. Here we go. Put this out of the way. See, it's got the hole. This used to be a uh, patio table. So, pretty hot in here, I'm sweating. Got my wood burner cranking away in here. So if I put this back in here, I'm going to have a nice flat table, no more patio table. Ta patio table. I'm either going to make it this wide or this wide, and spin it and put it against the wall. I'm going to put some of these screws I have over here back in it. Using the screws that came with it, I have plenty of screws. I just always try to reuse what I can. Base is going to get switched around now. So now you're going to see the top shift off here in a second. Ready? Up and out of the way it comes. Get this out of the way. Stuff this in here in the summertime when it's nice and soft. Now it's super hard because it's the winter time. Stick that up on top of the loft all the way. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I wonder if these things spun. Very cool. Let me show you that. So you can see that. These things actually maneuver on this access point. So, that's good actually. So we're going to move this here, put this out of the way, it's a spare drawer. Right now, I've, 
I already took the base off, so I don't want to put that back in my way for now. We're just going to cut this using a handsaw. I have a converter, I have an electric cord, I have a truck, but uh, I can do this just as quick. It's only cedar, so... One cut, not worried about two perfectly square. As I said, I have power tools already here, but I really don't need it. So let's cut this other cut here. this out of our way now and I think that this will work perfect right here give me a place to eat right here place for that person to eat right there once it's back to the proper height give me elbow room on each side I do believe this is going to make this area much, much nicer. So stay with me. We're going to set this table legs up, put a ledger board on the wall, and, uh, and I'll show you how it's done. My new knife keeps getting in the way. The knife I made. table leg base. It's kind of in the way like that. But uh, I think what I want to do is this. Okay, so we got it set up right here. And I got it set up about right here. And I want to figure this out. Maybe I can put two of these in here. Slide these things more like that. We'll see how that works. I'd rather not take them off. I like the option that I could possibly keep it as a freestanding table. Looks like that might be possible. Freestanding table would make it more 
better option for me to use it better. Push that together. Well, let's see here. Maybe I don't need a ledger board on the wall. You can always take one of these off. It's not a problem. In fact, I may have to make a three-legger. Three it's kind of in my way here. So let's move this open a little bit more. Well, something fell off the loft. Glad that was on camera. So let's see how this works. Yeah, I could use one more board out there. We don't have any more boards, so it is what it is. It's going to be like this, I believe. That's as far back as that goes. This I can get more room if I move a couple things around. But the nice thing about this is, let's say this is where it goes. It's not going to fall over now. It's out of the way. I can eat lunch here. Now I can finally have a guest. She or he can sit here. We can have breakfast in the morning. Won't be able to see out the window since I put it up too high, but. That's fixable. You can put a bigger window in. But uh, anyway, here's the table here. And uh, now I have the option to be able to turn this around. We can have a discussion here. You can do whatever you want here. I like that. It's going to give me a better view of the wood burner and open the area up a little bit more. Make it as tight inside here. So. Anyway, I think this is going to work fine. So, uh, I'm going to flip this over now, put these legs back on it. For watching me today and uh, watching how I took this old patio table, a cedar patio table, and changed the light configuration, removed the board in here, and uh, oh, looks like I forgot to replace two screws there. So much for ending. I noticed it was loose. There we go. Man, still need a screw in there. Well, we'll take care of that in a minute. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's Pete from Michigan Nature. Thanks for watching this uh, table adaptation. Uh, we removed that board and uh, went from being a patio table with an umbrella, umbrella opening to a uh, to a nice interior table in my pallet cabin. So these walls are not insulated yet, but they will be in the future. This will be a nice wall here and a nice table. Now I have the option to sit here, enjoy my coffee in the morning, enjoy my coffee in the morning, have a guest, she or he or whoever is here can sit next to me, we can enjoy our coffee and have breakfast and I can walk past without stumbling over somebody. Now I've created an aisle through here. So that's that's really good. I'm very happy about that. So thanks for this little segment, watching this little segment with me. I got some more cool ideas and things coming up that I want to show you with on this pal cabin. I have uh, all kinds of things that are going to be added to it and uh, to make it as top and self sufficient as possible. Anyway, uh, be safe, be happy, and I'll see you in the woods.